Bonjour, voici une vidéo un peu spéciale puisqu'elle sera entièrement en anglais, et même de l'ancien anglais, avec du Shakespeare dans le texte lu par deux élèves, Matfi et moi-même, Martin. Nous sommes tous les deux en troisième, et nous récitons un passage de la pièce Henri V dans le cadre de notre cours d'anglais. Il s'agit d'un discours dit par le roi à ses hommes pour les motiver. C'est un passage très célèbre qui a été dit par de grands comédiens anglo-saxons tels que Laurence Olivier ou, plus récemment, Ken Branagh. What's he that wishes so, my cousin Westmond, now my fair cousin? If fair mark to die, we enough to do a country loss, and if to leave, the few men the greater share of honor. God's will, I pray thee, wish not one man more. Razor Pokemon, Westmond, through my host, that he which has no stomach to his fight. Let him depart, his passport shall be made, and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We will not die in that man's company, that fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Christmas. He that outlive this day, and come safe home, will stand a tip down when a day is named, and roast him at the name of Christmas. He that shall live this day, And see old age, will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors. And say, tomorrow is San Crispin. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars, and say, these wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what fits he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth as household words. Here is the king. Bedford and Exeter, Barwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, being their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin, Crispin shall now go by from this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered, we few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that chase his blood with me shall be my brother, be he now so wild. This day shall gentle his condition, and gentlemen in England now abed shall sing themselves a curse they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap while they speak that fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day. What's he, Matushi, so? My cousin Westmoreland? No, my fat cousin. If from mock to die, we are not to die about country loss, and if to leave, Few a man the greater share of honor. God's will, I pray thee, wish not one man more. Rather, proclaim it, Westmoreland, through my host, that he which have no stomach to his fight, let him depart. His passport shall be made in crowns for convoy put into his purse. We will not die at one's company, but fear his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Christian. He, but outlive this day and come safe home, will stand a deep toe when the day is named, and was him at the name of Christian. He that shall live his day and see old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, Tomorrow is in Christian. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, These wounds I have on Christmas day. <laughs> old men forget, yet all shall be forgot. But he remember with identity what fits he did that day. Then shall our names, from in his mouth, as household words. Harry the King, Bedford, the next of Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, being their flowing curves freshly remembered. <laughs> this story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall now go by, from this day to ending of the world. But we need shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we bend of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother, be he now so vile. This day shall gentle his condition, and gentlemen in England now abed shall seek the unsell like us, we are not here, and hold the man who chips while in his picks that thought with us upon this Christmas day. <coughs> Thank you.